Today is time for a new mock builder review. I'm here with set 40504, a minifigure tribute that, of course, you can recognize is Captain Redbird. Redbird. This is an exclusive set from the Lego House. So this can be bought only at the Lego House in Bilo, Denmark, unless you want to play very inflated prices on uh, resellers online. Uh, as you know, usually my mock builders review, usually I talk a lot about the parts, about the building techniques, and I show you some mocks that I'm going to build with the parts from those sets. But of course, this is not going to be the case for this review, because this being such a good set, and of course a very exclusive set, this is not a set that I, I will be able to take apart and use the parts for any of the mocks. Maybe borrow some parts, but uh, most of the parts are fairly common. So what I'm going to do today is actually I'm going to show you all the building technique that go behind this set if you're not able to go to build them and pick it up for yourself. Uh, of course, spoiler alert, so if you're planning on building it and you want to keep for yourself the surprise of all the building techniques in this set, I recommend you to stop the video here and maybe go watch some of my mocks. If you are not planning to buy this and you want to see how it's built, how it's done, and what we can learn from this LEGO set, uh, because as a mock builder, building LEGO set is the best way to learn, uh, then I'm going to show you how it's done. I don't usually do pirate builds. Uh, I need to go back to a very old minifigure on parade uh, from a very long ago to find a, a pirate build. Uh, but now let's start about this one. So this one is very similar in the structure with the upscale figure 40649. I will put a link down below. Uh, I haven't built that one, but I assume that the basic structure should be similar. Uh, now, this one comes with a base, of course, with the a printed tile and here we have a very uh, simple base the only interesting thing is that these uh, round 2x2 two two jumpers they have a bar that run through and I'm assuming that because the legs of the minifigure will clutch to these two uh, jumpers over here uh, these will uh, make sure that when you take out the minifigure then this part of the stand don't come off with it uh, moving forward, we actually start from the torso of the minifigure. Uh, you can see that he has actually a fairly basic structure uh, that will contain then the, the build for the, the sides, the angles, uh, which is made with some Technic uh, pins and uh, bricks. Uh, so we have two mirror structures that connect in the middle and they are sandwiched in between with this uh, Technic brick. Then this whole system creates the perfect angles on the side and is going to slide in and connect in the middle of the torso of the minifigure. Uh, we have some very interesting technique at the front as well. So this whole green area in the middle is built sideways with a very clever use of uh, headlight bricks as well. So of course here Marcus that is the designer of this set knows exactly what he's doing with the parts as we know he's a designer of many amazing Lego sets. Um, moving forward uh, there is this part that I'm not sure exactly why. We have this red axle uh, that goes through the, the center of the neck and is not connected to anything. It's actually loose inside. So I'm not sure exactly why it's there. Maybe some uh, Easter egg. If you know, you can let me know in the comments down below. Uh, one maybe thing that is a bit uh, not perfect, in my opinion. Hey, we are nitpicking over here. These uh, yellow jumpers are connected only by one stud. So they're very easy, easily moved off of position. But I'm assuming that for the for, to make the structure of the torso solid, that probably was the only way to do that. Uh, but again, really, really nitpicking over here. After that, we move to the hips. Uh, for the hips area, we have a lot of brackets and we have also a, a little bit of upside down building or, or maybe I should say reversing studs. So we are reversing the brackets. So we have studs pointing in two directions so that we can connect this, this uh, in the middle over here. And then this old part will connect to the torso. I have to say that this is probably the only part of the build that uh, is a little bit difficult to get in together. And sometimes when pushing through, some of the connection uh, come off. So you need to be careful when you assemble this part because it's the only part that it doesn't feel as sturdy and as solid as the rest of the build. After that, we move to the legs. We build this uh, wooden peg first. Very simple, basic, uh, hollow structure. And then we are going to run through uh, some plates and tiles where we have also the ball joint. 
that run through this peg, and I'm assuming this is also to make this uh, all build more, uh, much more solid so that it doesn't break when you actually rotate uh, on the axle because all these minifigures can move in all the spots like a real Lego minifigure. Uh, we build then the other leg, that is a pretty simple and straightforward build. There's just a little bit of sideways build. For the rest is brick build. And also in this one, we have then the structure that run into the middle and then connect to the axle on the hips. After that, we move to the arms. Arms come together pretty nicely. It's actually not that difficult. Uh, it's two substructures that come together uh, with some inch plates and they're just connected at the perfect angle because of the wedge plates that has been used. Uh, everything go in very, very smoothly and then connect in the middle uh, to the side of the torso. Um, what allow the movement here, I think, is those three gears uh, that we saw in the, in the previous assembly of the torso. So those three gears allow to have this movement back and forth of the arms with just the right uh, friction. Uh, the end is a pretty straightforward build, nothing very difficult, and it has, a perfect, uh, it has a perfect dimension to that slot on top, the map that we will build at the end, that is not connected, but is just sitting in a way that is sit on top of the ends of the minifigure. Uh, while on the other side, we have a very simple and straightforward hook. Uh, after that, we build the e-paulette uh, that is mostly connected to the top of the torso. Uh, this one is a pretty simple uh, build, uh, perfectly done, perfectly resembling uh, all the angles of the minifigure. Uh, there is only these grilled pieces that are a little bit easy to move because they are connected only on one stud. After that, we move to the head. The head, also not very difficult, simple, four-sided, uh, it's not techniques. There is actually an Easter egg inside, but I'm not going to show you that, so I'm not going to spoil completely everything. So there is a little surprise inside the head. And then we can connect all these very nice uh, printed uh, parts over here at the front. After that, we aim to finish off everything with the head. The head comes in basically two pieces. There is a center part, uh, that come together in, uh, in an asymmetric way. So on one side we have slopes, on one side we have this cylinder piece, of course, this to mimic the actual shape of the head. And then all around this, we have uh, these, again, with inch plates, this side structure, then connect on the side and cover up the central structure of the head. Uh, very nice, uh, very well shaped. And I think this was maybe the most difficult shape to achieve uh, with Lego for this uh, uh, for this build. Um, okay, that's about it. We are, I already showed you the map. Uh, so here is the finished product. Very nice. I think you could actually match this with some other set. For example, there is a parrot uh, outside, a creator trim one. Maybe a little bit too big in scale compared to the minifigure. Yeah, I have the colorful one, but actually they release also a, a, a more bland color, not so not so colorful one. I will link down below as well. Uh, if you have a chance to go to build, I highly recommend you to pick this set up. Uh, probably the best of all the exclusive set that are on sale over there. Uh, if you are still missing this uh, pirate vibe and you want to buy something that in the you're missing this pirate era, there is a couple of very interesting sets still on the market, which are the uh, Lego Creator 3 in 1 pirate ship that looks pretty, pretty cool. And of course, the Eldorado Forter, Fortress, the remake. I actually own that set, but I don't have it with me yet, uh, here where I am now. So I haven't built it yet. Maybe in, in the future is another set that I can review for the channel. If you want to see some reviews with a little bit more mock building involved, then I re highly recommend you to go and check out the last one, which was my Tiny Plants review. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.